game. In this video, we'll be discussing on comments, indentations, and multi-line statements in Python. Coming to Python comments, comments are used to clarify the code, makes easy to understand the code, and they are not interpreted by Python. That means they are not executed. Typically, they are used for more explanatory form. It is mostly represented in the form of, sorry, it is more represented in the form of hashtag. We can use this in the form of a hashtag so that if I can see this code, print addition of two numbers. Here it is giving the full code and simply it is explaining the way that it is just printing addition of two numbers. Similarly, if a big problem will be there, and if you give the single line that this line is performing this calculation, this can be cleared by if a person reads this code even after five to 10 years, he can understand the code very easily. So in general, it is very good habit to write comments while you are writing or updating your code. Then comes multi-line comments. Multi-line comments, if we want to represent this, we can represent in the form of like two ways. First is hashtag, but hashtag we need to put in the beginning of each statement. If there are 50 to 60 lines, it makes a complete problematic. So it's coming to very easy way. You can do one thing, you can put this, single quote at the beginning and at the end of the statements or double quote at the beginning and the ending of the statement. So this is how we can write multi-line comments and a very better way to write by single line quote or double line quote at the beginning of the statement and also at the uh, ending of the quote. This will be regarded as multi-line comments. Then comes Python indentations. Most of the programming languages like C, C++, Java uses braces. For example, if we come to C, C++, uh, if I write code for for, for i is equal to 2, then I'll give just some condition and some incremental or decremental and here I need to give a block of code. Here I say print i. So this is a block where we give our code that follows a for loop. So instead of this, Python follows indentation. Here we need not to follow this block. Instead of this, it just give four white spaces. that we will see in PyCharm also. But here, if you are writing in scripting, you can give four white spaces. But you need not to worry in PyCharm because your text editor takes care of it. Instead of four spaces, it indents so that it follow the code. But if you write any statement outside this loop and you write here print i, then it will not follow this for loop. If we don't follow this indentation in Python, uh, for example, if you just give a single space and you write your code here, it will understand because our PyCharm is very intelligent. We need to provide here indentation. So here it will give the error indentation error. That is an indent does not match any outer indentation level. So it is necessary because it makes our code very readable and easy to understand. Then comes Python statements. Here are instructions that a Python interpreter can execute. Uh, for example, if we are giving a is equal to one. So what it is doing? One is assigned to a variable that is a single statement but coming to multi-line statements 
what it does you can do put this slash backslash over here at the end of your statement or a very easy way that you can put a braces or square braces or curly braces you can put either of them as it will understand with opening braces till you will close that braces that this code is a part of single code now coming to if you want to put a single line code you want multiple lines to be in a single line so what you can do like for example i want to assign a is equal to 1 and then i can give a semicolon and then b is equal to 2 then semicolon c is equal to 3 that means here this semicolon acts as a delimiter the either way is you can write in multiple lines but here if you want a condition that you want to execute a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 c is equal to 3 in a single line then you can use this way also by using semicolon 